What is up, YouTube? It is your boy, King Beam, a.k.a. Thomas the Tank Engine. And a couple days ago, I saw Bullet Train. And I gotta be honest with you, I went into the theater expecting, you know, a cool little action movie. But I wasn't expecting a great film. Because um, director David Leach, he has come out with some, some films in the past that were pretty okay um john wick was a pretty standard introduction into the series atomic blonde was pretty mid in my opinion hobbs and shaw it was a cool little fast and furious buddy cop movie but you know it wasn't anything special now deadpool 2 i don't think it was like a groundbreaking piece of cinema but it is one of my favorite movies of all time the movie is hilarious and it's it's just, Deadpool 2 is a really great movie, okay? So going into this movie, like I said, wasn't expecting anything great. But, you know, as I'm watching the movie, it's it's really, really good. Like, this was a great film. David Leach has totally outdone himself with this one. Brad Pitt is really hilarious as the character of Ladybug. This movie is a um, action comedy starring him him being brad pitt and he like i said his character's name is ladybug and he's like this really unlucky person and that's why his name is ladybug because you know ladybug's supposed to be lucky and he's unlucky you know you know little parallels in the movie but um yeah he's not lucky but you could be if you like and subscribe Ha, huh, you see you see what i did there but yeah please please like and subscribe 95 percent of you guys that watch the videos are not subscribed so you know Press the subscribe button and please drop a like it'll really help me out it'll put a smile on my face and you know just do it please all right anyway the overall vibe of this film is like spectacular you know the colors like the colors on the train they're so vibrant all throughout the train and it keeps up throughout like because there's a whole bunch of cars on this train but in each and every car, there's like a different setting, but the colors are just as vibrant and it keeps you really engrossed in the film and you want to keep watching. I mean, that's what I love about this movie because it feels like while you're watching, you're on a train ride yourself because there's like everything keeps happening over and over. Like there's so much stuff that keeps happening in the movie and it just keeps you engaged. Like you're on the edge of your seat the entire time because there's no stoppage on this train ride of a film it's from start to finish your go non-stop action everything is happening back to back to back to back to back and you're just so invested in everyone's story i mean my favorite part about the film is the characters because i don't know i don't know if it's just me but i fell in love with literally all the characters i mean not all of them you know some of the the villainous characters i wasn't a big fan of not because they're bad characters but you know i just don't like them because you know they're they're bad people anyway you fall in love with all the characters my favorite character in this movie is um aaron taylor johnson's character his name is tangerine and the dude the dude is a beautiful man i mean come on we you sometimes you just gotta hype up the bros and this guy is just a beautiful human being and I'm trying to get like him. And then until after the film, I didn't know that he played like Pietro in uh, what's that movie? Age of Ultron. Bro had a huge glow up. I mean, it's just a beautiful man, you know? But like, why is everyone on this train so freaking beautiful? I mean, of course, we got Brad Pitt in here. And then we got Aaron Taylor Johnson. And even um Bad Bunny was in this movie. I didn't know bro could act like that. I mean... He's a great actor and he's freaking beautiful. I mean, everyone on this chain is just a beautiful human being and I love it. Um, yeah, overall, this movie was just a great thrill ride. Um, it wasn't like a groundbreaking piece of cinema that, you know, it's going to change your life when you walk into the theater. But I saw it with my friends and we were laughing out loud the entire time. It is just a great movie to watch and oh my gosh how could i forget um just like the cinematography in this movie was really good like with all the fight scenes they're so 
chaotic because they're on a train right and they're in a tiny enclosed space and they have to do these amazing fight scenes and they don't want the people like the regular passengers on the train to know that they're fighting so they're getting like these little situations where they have to like chill out and not fight when a random person comes in and there's this one fight where they're in like the silent section of the train and there's this lady she keeps trying to tell them like be quiet but the whole time they're like trying to kill each other so it makes for some pretty cool stuff anyway cinematography is cool just want to talk about this one shot where they give bro literally they they give characterization to a fiji water bottle right and they give the fiji water bottle an entire backstory and it like it like there's this cool pov shot of how it's like in a vending machine and like it follows the fiji water bottle throughout the course of the film and like just wanted to point that out cinematography in this movie is just really freaking cool um yeah great action it looks amazing everyone on the train is beautiful it'll keep you on the edge of your seat solid 8 out of 10 would recommend i'm about to get into spoiler territory so if you haven't seen the movie yet you can click off the video now um yeah i'm gonna give you a couple seconds to do that okay boom if you're still here it's spoiler time um i think it was pretty freaking genius how the entire plot of the movie is caused because of ryan reynolds ryan reynolds is a freaking goat he, ryan reynolds kills the the white death's wife and then this just causes the entire plot and bro the whole there's like so many plot twists in this movie it's insane but the white the white death the fact that he set all of this up and got everyone on this train to be here together just because they pissed him off they pissed him off so much that he got them all on the train so that they would kill each other because he didn't feel like doing it himself that's just freaking genius of writing bro and like i said there's so many plot twists like i never expected the girl to be the white death's daughter um because when when i don't even know the guy's name but um the um japanese guy with the um with um he's Wat watsuri's dad when his dad showed up at the um train station i thought that he was the white death because of the phone call and stuff with the girl so i thought he was going to come on and kill everybody but no he was he fought against the white death in the past and now he wanted revenge i thought that was just genius um the cameos in this movie were just so cool they're my favorite cameo i mean besides ryan reynolds showing up for like five seconds to reveal that he was like this master assassin um my favorite cameo was definitely channing tatum's cameo <laughs> when he thought that um tangerine was uh, um, a male escort here to give him some some pleasure on the bullet train i thought that was pretty funny um what's her name from the boys her name's karen oh uh, what's her last name i know this it's like karen karen fukuhara from the boys she plays kimiko she was like the little waitress on the track i thought that was pretty cool because like like halfway through the movie i was like i know her face and then i looked over to um looked over to my bro i was like yo that's kimiko from the boys i was like ah that was pretty cool um a lot of cool cameos another one of the plot twists that i loved was that um when the white death revealed that he put everyone on this train for a reason he uh he was saying to um what's his name brad pitt's character he was like and yeah and you killed my wife and then he was like what i didn't kill your wife and then he called him carver and you know it just so happens that if you're paying attention at the beginning of the movie brad pitt says that he filled in for carter and carter was ryan reynolds character well, he's not really a character he just shows up for like two seconds to like reveal that he was you know master assassin but yeah he was filling in for for ryan reynolds and it just so happened that ryan reynolds killed the white death's wife so brad pitch just an unlucky guy that he so happened to get on this train when the white death was trying to kill everybody that wronged him it just like the whole bad luck thing about brad pitt is just so funny because at the beginning of this movie He's like, you know, he's been going to therapy. He wants to work out things with words now instead of violence because everywhere he goes, someone dies. So he leaves his gun in the locker before he gets on the train. And like, 
like the whole theme is every stop that the train makes he keeps trying to get off and then something happens that keeps him on the train and the first one was i think the best one because bad buddy's character's name is the wolf they give this dude a whole five minute backstory about how um he fell in he was like this big time gangster dude killing everybody he fell in love with this girl and then he had this wedding and um brad pitt was stealing something from the wedding but he was like a waiter there and then um yeah at the wedding th this other assassin played by zazie bates she's like this like poison this poison assassin lady she uses the snake and she poisons people but yeah she poisoned everybody at the wedding and everyone dies and bad bunny loses his wife and so then he he finds out who did it and then he goes and he like because um at the wedding brad pitt accidentally dropped some like juice on his white tux so he, he gets ready he puts on the same tux that got dirty at the wedding he goes in he goes to go kill brad pitt and you know he he actually kills himself with his own knife because it bounces off of this suitcase and it's just that was really funny because there's so much build up about how angry this dude was and how he wanted to get revenge and he died in like a couple minutes and i just i love the situational irony and the situational humor in this movie because bro like brad pitt's bad luck it's it's just extremely bad and it makes for some pretty funny stuff um yeah rest in peace tangerine he was my favorite character bro like he was so cool him and orange were easily my best parts about the film orange keeps talking about freaking wait no lemon that was his name lemon he kept talking about um freaking uh thomas the tank engine and how he can read people i mean it worked though he kept calling people diesels because diesels are the worst of the worst and i that was my like favorite parts about the film lemon and tangerine but yeah um i just i had a lot of fun watching bullet train and you know if you haven't seen it go and watch it like i said please drop a like and subscribe leaving a like really helps out the channel pushes the video out so that youtube recommends it to others i'm trying to grow the channel all right please subscribe i know we can do it i'm trying to hit 500 by december 31st and with your help i know we can do it all right thank you for 300 by the way 300 subscriber special is coming next week i'm gonna update y'all um the day of this video is coming out i just moved into college yesterday so that's a pretty pretty big step in my life but um yeah quality content is going to stay coming no matter what but um yeah if you're still here thank you for watching i love you have a great day peace out